we are assembling headlights. And these headlights, they were blue originally. They were the closest fit I could find to Fergie's with the rivets, the old style rivets. They're not exact, but look, they're, they're good enough. Was a set of Fordson ones. So what we're going to do is just set them back up again. I had to strip them all down, bead blast all the paint off and paint them FE35 grey. So, so first up, put that over there, I also on these screws this square was a lot longer and I set them up in the lathe and machined them down because it had too much sticking out through the bottom here. So, so now they're sort of flush. Shouldn't be too bad, I hope. Anyway, we'll see. Time will tell. <clears throat> Pardon me. So with a plough lamp, the bottom of the bracket is down to the bottom. You can see down here. And this little bracket sticks out of there. And the, the other bracket here, I think that's the way it goes. I'll have to have a look again. But I'll try not to scratch all these putting them together. So, first cab off the rank. Let's turn that up that way and put this in. <laughs> Pardon me. Look, I really think this goes that way. The fork at the front, with the screw at the front under the headlight, so you can pull him in tight. With the light, put the. I've got a lot of light in the shed here now. Um, yeah, put him straight up and down, even though it's a plough lamp. I'll take the bulb out. So our lines are straight up and down. It's just a floodlight, not a, not a spotlight as such. Line them up, beautiful. Now we've got to get these bloody things in. And what happens is they sit down, a little lip goes across, and then you have to push the other side down in under. So I'll try and do near the catch first. goes down over there, trying to keep it all straight. Then over the other side here, we try and do that again. Straight opposite the other one. There we go. There's two in. 
I'll work my way right around. Okay, that's all the six clips in. Now this little bulb, it's got a little notch in here. Has to sit in there. It's only a single filament bulb. Single filament means it's only got one little one little filament that lights up. There's no high low beam, it's just one beam. On or off? Now this fella here, I can't remember which way this goes, but I imagine it will only go one way. There's a bigger gap between these two than the others, so the bigger gap is here. How about I put that bulb in the right way? Too much talking, not enough working, Lance. terminals there, this is the earth terminal, that has to come out and go to earth. Now we have a little switch, a little switch, the red wire comes from power, that's a bit loose isn't it? We best tighten that up, this implies. This is the insulation. <laughs> Pissy looking really, isn't it? But anyway, not to worry. Oops, get back in there. That's not really what I meant to do. That's a crappy switch really, isn't it? It's got a little button there. A little spring that sits up inside. And when you push it on, it just pushes it down on there. Junk that switch, isn't it? Really? I think we'll find another switch. I'm just not happy with that. That's just that's trouble down the track. All right, stay tuned. Right, I found a switch. Now this switch has got off on a little light in here, but. I've also had tucked away over the years a couple of rubber boots to go over on off toggle switches and so <clears throat> what we're going to do because it's often out the back of the tractor the switch here where the other ones are protected from the dash a little bit we're going to put a little rubber boot over it and so we need to just Pop the switch through. Now I don't 
don't know. Yep, it looks like we have enough room. Anyway, we'll give it a good go. What size have we got there, B? Um, shifter size. Should be able to put a little boot over top of that. I'll just check once more before we get too excited with ourselves. Everything's going to clear. Looks like it. Put a bolt with a um, nut on it so that this bolt doesn't want to disappear inside on me. Actually, they even have a little a little spherical space in there. So whatever angle we have it, it sort of seals up. <coughs> oh, man. Okay, now a little condom. It's a bit small for the job. A lot of you blokes mightn't have had that trouble before. <laughs> All right. Where are we here? And I've got it on crooked. You probably haven't got that, had that problem either. might find the right switch for these little boots yet, but um, bit of KY gel. Okay, that'll probably work okay. And hopefully keep the moisture out. The, the light will be sitting up around like that, so that should keep the moisture away. Bloody beautiful lens. How do you do it for the price? Now, so this wire still has to go onto the side there, but the other end will need to come onto this switch now. So we'll cut these off this shit switch. We've got two male ends here, so we'll um, Bend the terminals out on the switch a little. Just so, because with these sticking out, I'm sure it would hit the light then. 
So we'll get a little bit more wire sticking out there because when you know it, I haven't got any red trim terminals. We're going to have to use blue, the bigger ones, so it's hard to get good help, ain't eh? Good. I can't remember which way we're in which. Positive that side, light this side, so the light comes here. Now if that goes on there, and the other bit goes on the light, and this bit goes down the hole. we all got to remember with this tractor it's not about being accurate um, so much it's about being reliable accurate as in accurate as in as it come out of the factory so we'll just pop a little knot in this That would go better if we turned it that way. The switch might work back the front, but we'll soon know if the light's on, won't we? And if this has to go that way, yeah, because that will work better. can poke out here as well. What a bloody beautiful job. Nothing that has to go that way. Beautiful. Beautiful except for what fell inside. Line him up again. Got a little bit of plastic in there as a spacer. I'm not sure that's the best stuff for that, but anyway. Pretty good. Except the earth wire is going to disappear again. Come on out of there. I 
should have tied a knot in it too by the looks. I might be able to hook him out. But anyway, if I can't, we'll just have to... If you want to, can I push this in a bit? No, I think I'll pull it out and do it. I'll fix this up and come back. Now on the plough lamp, there's this little bracket that goes onto our rear mudguard. I bought that in from overseas, I just didn't seem to find one over here. Some bugger put a knot in the wires. Now we should be able to get that is through. Make sure it all sits nicely. This bracket. close to being the same size. So this light would actually, the mud guards there, so it would sit back here. So I'd have to make sure it's right across by the look of that. Or well, we'll just turn up a little spacer. That's pretty tidy. We can run the wires up to there. Can't remember which is off and on, but that won't matter. All right, that'll be the plough light. Ready to go and sit on. It's flaring out a little bit with the light coming through the door. But... Okay, plough light done. Right, and there's the plough lamp sitting roughly where it should be when you see the whole picture of it. Now, I've got one bolt in here, I've still got to drill this. It goes through the, whoop, we'll come around the back. It comes through the hoop frame here. Oh look, that's looking okay. That won't be too bad at all. That'll help us out of a night and if we're out track to track and buggering around, that's probably where the beer fridge would be on the carry-all just here I'd say, so you need to flick that on to, to grab a cold one because it'd be a rude shock thinking you're grabbing a coke. Oh, I mean a beer and getting a coke. That'd just be, yeah, it wouldn't be allowed. Okay, we'll keep moving. Right, we're following a similar process for these headlights. Um, they're a very similar light. They don't have the place for the switch. It's switched from the dash. But um, what I did do is the bulbs that come with these lights are 35 watt maximum. I think it's 15 and 35. So what I did, I actually went and bought some bulbs, some quartz halogen bulbs, that are 40 and 50 watts. So we have 40 watt low beam, 50 watt high beam. So that should improve our light quite a bit. Now 
Yeah, where's our little... Doesn't, now we don't touch these here. They, um, they don't like that. They get a hot spot in them, I believe. Tight sitting down into the into the reflector here. So hopefully that's a good light anyway. It's flaring out again. Right, the compressor likes to kick in now. And then. So these we have low beam, high beam, and earth. So we have three wires coming out. So they'll all fit down through the through the bolt, same bolts as on the plow lamp and this little latch here is at the bottom once more so I'll grab my little box of tricks that's the light for the other side it's ideal if you don't break it So we had half a dozen clips on the other lights, so I imagine it'll be half a dozen now, I can't remember. We have to make sure that our, our crosshatch pattern, I'm not sure where I can get that where you can see it. But you can see a bit of straight up and down there, that has to go straight up and down with the light. So when the bracket, the mounting bracket is here, about there is good. Once again, put the put the bracket in, and then the spring goes down over top of that to hold it in place. But we always have to make sure we're still lined up. All right, I'll put all this together, same as the other one. And I'll come back shortly. Well, there you go. There's Goldie as she sits at the moment. No top on the bonnet. No no centre flap. But um, we've got the grilling, got the badges tidied up a little bit. Down the side here, that's all looking a bit flash. I don't know, not every tractor needs that bling. I, it's good to have it sometimes, not others. I've got a light there flaring out. Um, around the back here, that's that trailer hitch. I've got the rest of that we've got to get on yet, but... Um, the the handle on the levelling box was terrible, um, all pitted and all that. So we've got a new one of those, um, new chrome one. I don't know how good the chrome is, but um, steering wheel and all it's just sitting on there. But the back's all together, all tidy. Oh, plow lamp, got the plow lamp on. I've got to drill a hole for the bracket in here yet, and do the wiring. Nothing's happened with the canopy yet for the roll. We've got the roll frame on, but not the canopy. And when we come around this side, there's no car beyond there. And we've got to bring a fuel line from the tap out through here to the carby. We have to make that. And I've got a piece of quarter Bundy tube, which has got a anti-corrosive coating on it. So. So that's what happens, oh, the headlights, I suppose. So that's what's happening with the gold one at the moment. Um, yeah, I haven't, oh, I've done a lot of work on it, but I haven't actually got much to show. Uh, 